Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Sonoma Dev Beta 4 running on the new way uh, using Proxmox. So this is a Hackintosh build again. Um, but today we're going to be looking at it uh, running on the new way, seeing the how stable it is. So, uh, if you didn't know, uh, obviously we had some issues getting developer beta 4 running. Uh, but Apple have released uh, two uh, pushes on the update. Um, and the third push uh, after the first seemed to be uh, the one that made it work. So, um, if you want to know how to uh, transfer the folder uh, and the um, VZ dump file, uh, which is the backup of the template, uh, please do visit the link in the description below where we've got a, a written guide on how to actually um, restore the template. But today, um, obviously, I'm on Proxmox here and I've got my templates, uh, sure. And you can see Sonoma Dev 4 is here. Uh, for you, uh, obviously, you'll have to follow the guide below if you've not got any templates already. But if you've already used a HSV template before, it's the same process. So, all we need to do is click Restore, pick a destination, and then I'm just going to leave it at default. If we click on Restore now, it's just going to start the one-click install, uh, basically uh, installing macOS for us um, in around a minute or two. It's literally that easy. So, uh, Dev Beta 4, we were having stability issues on Proxmox. We seem to have fixed those now, uh, again, with the help of Tor, because uh, I uh, started my new job last week, so I wasn't very active in the Discord. Uh, and that explains this uh, video being so late. Um, so sorry for not uploading, but obviously, if you do want to see more content, please do give this video a like and consider subscribing, as obviously it helps me out, and it is re it is it's free for you to subscribe. It's not costing you anything. But if you do want to show obviously your appreciation for the free content, then obviously there is a donations link below. We're also working on a big project um, that's called HSV One. Um, which is obviously a secret at the moment but if you want to uh, find out more about that please do visit the discord server below where we'll be posting frequent updates about it. You can also sign up to be a beta tester too uh, from the discord server. In any help situation so like this not working obviously discord is the way to go. Just join all from the links in the description below. So you'll know when it's restored when it says task ok at the bottom so we can just close out of this now and then we can see our Sonoma Dev Beta 4 so on summary you've got a few uh, disclaimers here um, such as if you use an AMD you need to replace with these arguments and it tells you how to do it you just read it then um, you've got your hardware section we're not going to touch any of that for now until we've set up Sonoma Dev Beta 4 um, and then you've obviously got your other settings the one that we're going to fo focus on at first is the console, so if we click into that and click start now, then it will start the virtual machine. So we can full screen that and soon we should uh, be on the uh, clo uh, open core, sorry not clover, just press enter on the default volume and it will begin to boot Sonoma. Sonoma is fully installed, uh, you don't need to install it, uh, but if you did uh, choose the pre-configured template, uh, please do contact me in discord on how to do that it's pretty much the same but you just need to enter a, a special um, command to get macOS to boot again um, you can see the command in the um, download station uh, but if you're having real real trouble with it again visit the discord or watch one of my previous videos where I showcased it you can see we're on the default setup page for macOS so I'm gonna just select my country just all the general macOS stuff here so uh, once we're through that we just need to make sure we skip a few things on the, um, the setup screen so that's why I'm showing you it uh, but once all that's done you're sorted um, and you're ready to use Sonoma Dev Beta 4 also many of you were asking um, on the discord server as well can you update from for example Dev Beta 3 yeah of course you can all you do is log in with your Apple ID, again requiring an SM BIOS change and things, but you log in with your Apple ID, turn on beta updates on your account, and then you can just upgrade straight to beta 4. 
data and privacy, just click on continue. We're not going to migrate using Migration Assistant. With Apple ID, click set up later as we're on a generic EFI at the moment. Click skip. Terms and conditions, read through them. I'm going to accept them because I've read them. And then create a user. So, users get created. Click continue. This can take quite a while, so I'll be back in a moment. So, we're not going to turn on location services, uh, so we can just click continue and then click don't use. So, at your closest time zone, continue. Analytics, just click continue. I'm not going to set up screen time now, so I'm clicking set up later. Choose your look, I'm just going to leave it on dark, I don't really care. And then soon enough, uh, we'll be on the um, Mac OS Sonoma dev developer beta uh, for desktop. So, once we are, all we need to do is transfer the correct EFI folder because now we're booted off the HSV boot uh, ISO image. We want to be booted off the actual hard disk. So, you can set up your keyboard, I'm just going to skip. It will be a bit slow when you are using it without a GPU pass through. So, all I'm going to do is go to Finder, again, GPU pass through does help with this, and then go to HSV get started, get started again, double click, you can follow the readme file if you don't want to hear me talking, double click into EFIs first, and then select your correct EFI. So if you're running a, for example a 6900 XT or a 5800 50, X, whatever, Sorry, not 5800X, you know, the RX series, 5000, 6000 series, select that. If you're running anything native, so anything that's on the GPU compatibility list on the Hackintosh section of my website, you can click on that. If you're running, obviously, NVIDIA, you can click on that. But NVIDIA isn't currently supported in Sonoma. Then, if you have no GPU, you can click on that. So, I've got a native GPU, so I'm double-clicking double on that and then it will uncompress itself um, into its own little folder and then we can just drag uh, the contents inside that folder onto the desktop so you can see it's uh, extracted here all we need to do is just drag this down away for a moment double click and drag the EFI onto the desktop that EFI folder again it can be a real slow uh, machine without GPU pass through but you can see, once that's copied, all I do is go back to get started, go to tools, double click into that, scroll across to open core configurator. You can use something called main TFI, which I will actually show in this video. So you need to just double click on Python first. And then once you've uh, done that, you're going to install Python, pretty simple. And then we can use the main TFI command, which is really good. So you just next through it, agree, you know, just the standard installation, enter your password, um, and then Python should get installed. It's only because the uh, actual script uses Python, otherwise, we won't need to install it in this case. Well, Python um, is an IDE. Uh, actual it's a great tool we can just close out that uh, it shouldn't be long until it's finished again very very slow uh, without a GPU pass through so if you have a GPU that's compatible please do pass it through click close it's finished double click into my TFI again it will extract itself once it's done that can see here you right click and click on open and then in a moment you should see that it will uh, say install so you just click install and then settings will open you just give that a moment again will be very very slow and if you lot are wondering why um, the CPU usage is really really high on this it's because there's no GPU pass through too um so hopefully um 
in a moment we should get uh, some sort of um, output I won't be a second so it's been really slow so we're just going to use open code configurator so you just right click and click on open uh, you can mess around with that tool I just don't feel like messing around today as it will get too complicated for us so open up open code configurator go to tools in the menu bar click main TFI and you give a minute for the other window to open select the one that's under Apple link Vertio block media click mount partition enter your password once you've done it will start to mount the partition once it has click open partition should be a blank folder just drag that EFI folder into the EFI partition so once copied um, it should look just like this so it should be the EFI partition with a folder called EFI inside if that's what yours looks like brilliant just click unmount partition and then once it's unmounted all we do is shut down the machine not reboot it shut it down and then we're we're ready to go now there's two options here so you can carry on using the HSV ISO image uh, that's attached or you can remove it and you'll unlock snapshots so I'm going to remove it just to show you what snapshots are so if I shut down the machine and then just untick that click shut down obviously the machine will shut down like any normal Mac and then uh, once that's done all we do is um, get ready to remove the uh, default um, entry so if we go to hardware the IDE2 drive you click detach yes and same with the SATA 0 drive if you want the HSV uh, get started folder removed which I will do once done you can just remove the unused disks if you want or you can keep them there whichever you feel like I just like removing them and then you should uh, unlock snapshots which it hasn't done right now but again you can create backups you can literally click back up now wherever you want to back it up to usually local for you and just click back up but basically um, now if we click start now we should get a more customized experience so it'll load the BIOS uh, Proxmox um, but you can see we've now got a new um, login screen uh, sorry open code bootloader with uh, our background and some new icons which is really really nice to all put that together so thanks to him but now you can see uh, our system is booting entirely off the hard drive or SSD whichever you're using so you can see some of the dev beta 4 that's it so um, I hope you enjoyed this video again uh, if you did please do leave a like it really helps me out uh, and consider subscribing because that's also free if you do want to support our free work please do consider donating from the links below thanks for watching goodbye